Since the end of the Lamb Tour in 1975, the vocalist of Genesis Band, Peter Gabriel, officially departed from the band. After that, he embarked on a solo music career journey and releasing a total of four self-titled albums by 1982. On the other hand, following Gabriel's departure, the drummer of Genesis, Phil Collins reluctantly took over the microphone. Along with the remaining members, the band continued to release several well-received albums like A Trick of the Tail and Wind and Wuthering, both released on 1976. This particular lineup remained intact until Steve Hackett's departure in 1977. To fill these vacancies for live performances, the band invited drummer Chester Thompson and guitarist-bassist Daryl Sturmer to join as concert player. In the early 80s, Peter Gabriel, along with his management team, co-planned the world of music and dance, an event aimed at connecting global music and dance cultures. The first WOMAD festival took place in 1982 in Shepton Mallet, Somerset, England. Despite receiving positive reviews from the media, the event failed to achieve financial balance due to insufficient promotion and other reasons. As a prominent figure within the WOMAD organizing committee, Gabriel faced several financial pressures to the extent that his family received death threats. In this dire situation, he reached out to his former Genesis bandmate, Tony Banks, and eventually learned that the generous old friends were willing to lend a hand to assist him in overcoming this very challenging time. At the suggestion of manager of Genesis, Tony Stratton Smith, they decided to organize a one-off reunion concert titled it Six of the Best and donate all funds raised to WOMAD to help resolve its debt issues. Eventually, both parties scheduled the event at October 2nd, 1982, at the National Bowl in Milton Keynes, Buckinghamshire. Coincidentally, on the eve of the reunion concert, Genesis was in the midst of several three-side live music shows. Gabriel and Genesis had to rehearse these materials from nearly a decade ago, within a very limited time frame. Rutherford even admitted forgetting a portion of the musical box, adding to the uncertainty surrounding for the performance. October 2nd arrived, a significant day that also saw heavy rainfall. Despite the downpour and resulting muddy conditions, it didn't deter the enthusiasm of around 60,000 fans from across the globe who eagerly attended the event. If anything, the rain seemed to heighten their excitement even more. Talk Talk and Blues Brothers, as additional supporting acts, kicked off the performance as appetizers. However, Talk Talk's performance lasted only about 15 minutes before they were driven off the stage by mud and bottles thrown by the audience. In the backstage, Gabriel and others seemed very nervous and lacking in confidence due to the extremely short rehearsal time. Keyboardist Tony Banks rocked a kamikaze commandos jacket, indicating his view for the show.
Some of you uh, may be wondering what we're doing here. So may some of us. But actually, this is a, a sequence from a previous event by the name of WOMAD. And this uh, a group of people that I was working with in Bristol, we had a dream about two and a half years ago of bringing all sorts of people from all over the world to Shetta Mallet. And there were about 600 artists from 21 countries and we had lots of things with school kids, arts making instrument making workshops and all sorts of performances with rock. The end result of this was that it was a great event and it lost a pile of money. But uh, I'm very lucky to have a group of people who prepared to support these ideals and also back me. And in return for your cash, we will try and give you what, what we think you would like of this combination. And this is uh, fish farming yesterday and today. Straight from the age of aquarium, the first of fifth.
eventually, this one-off reunion of the classic Genesis lineup raised 1.2 million pounds, saving Gabriel and assisting WOMAD in overcoming its financial difficulties, leading to the establishment of its foundation and ensuring the success of the second WOMAD festival in the following year. That's all for today's video. Till next time.